Hey, Brett. Are you, are you sitting on peas? Maybe. Oh, you're not so mad about the last episode, are you? Oh, come on. We learned a lot about study techniques, and, and now we get to host the show. Yeah. And I also got this dog bite right on my... latest craze in microbiome modification, fecal transplants. That's right, folks, I'm talking about a real poop transplant. Yeah. Real actual Man. poo put in people's... I want a fecal transplant. Why? There's absolutely no reason for you to get one. Uh, David, David, your naivete is so adorable, so sad. Everybody's getting something planted these days. Planted? Transplanted, implanted, supplanted. That doesn't even make sense. You don't need a fecal transplant. Uh, Look, it's my microbiome. I can do whatever I want with it. It's mine. Do you even know what a microbiome is? Duh. I TiVo'd some stuff about it the other day. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm basically an expert. Oh, yes. Sir. Check it out. Um, my name is uh, Tran Wu Shi. I'm an associate professor here at the University of Michigan School of Public Health. The particular topic I'm doing right now is to study the complex interactions of environmental toxins with the human microbiome and how that impacts the human health. So the microbiome is a collection of uh, microbial cells and its genome, so on a specific body site. As a matter of fact, um, the, all the human body, all the human body sites are covered by the microorganisms. Even in our eyes, for example, you still contains a large number of microbial cells. That's the reason we sometimes we call ourselves a superorganisms. Basically, it's the ourself and microbial cells. Do you ever feel lonely, like you're only a single organism? Do you ever wish that you had help digesting food, regulating your metabolism, or someone to assist your immune system? Thanks to the microbiome, now there's hope. Your microbiome is the collection of the trillions of microorganisms and their genes that live on and inside your body, so you're never alone, no matter how much you try to wash. It may sound grody, but the microbes living on your skin help protect your body from infections, and the microbes in your gut help you digest food and regulate your metabolism. So when you think about all those microbes crawling all over you, think well of them, because they're your friends. The microbiome, as fascinating as it is unsettling. They could help us to digest the food. Uh, they provide all these enzymes for us, to help us to digest the food. Boy, this guy sure eats a lot of gummy bears. Sure does. I kind of like digesting them, though. You can make some pretty cool vitamins. Oh, nice! Vitamin B! Look what I can make. Serotonin. Show off. They also could outcompete some pathogenic organisms so that they, they prevent the infection. They play a very important role to protect our health. Some antibiotics will wipe out the microbiome in your gut and then you could develop the diarrhea. So you will transplant the fecal materials uh, in order to restore the gut microbiome. This is still a rare procedure. There's still a lot of things we don't know. Okay. Um, and also this fecal transplant is only useful or effective for some specific conditions you need to consult with your physician uh, to evaluate whether it's beneficial to do that. See? Totally gonna get a fecal transplant. Were you even listening? The professor totally said that it was a rare procedure and that you shouldn't get one without talking to your doctor. Ah, come on, come on. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, you could get totally messed up. The microbes in your gut help digest food, and they, they help regulate your immune system and your metabolism in ways that scientists barely understand. And you want to go mess around with that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh. 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 What 
did I tell you? Don't want to hear it. You just couldn't be content with your microbiome helping you digest things and protecting you from infections. Can't hear you. I'm working on my next fecal transplant. Ugh. So cool people just have constant diarrhea. Is that what's happening? Don't you ever try to make me learn science again! Oh. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Mad Bad Science. Oh. If you have any questions about the episode or suggestions for episodes, leave them in the comments. Or send us a message. Thanks for watching. Oh, whatever. Oh.